Hello, and welcome to PCTU's tutorial on operation of the Profoscope cover meter by Prosic. This is a magnetic device, so it is important to remove all jewellery, cufflinks, and any other metal uh, items on your person before operating. Profoscope cover meter runs off AA batteries, which can be seen under the cover here. You can also see the memory card used to store data for the data logging model and the USB port for again with the data logging model taking data off. Power button to small black button on top of the device and this will uh, boot into the system. When you first start the profoscope it will want to be zeroed. To do this you press the button on the right hand side of the device as indicated uh, by the pointing hand and you'll need to hold it away from all metallic objects while zeroing because this would affect the accuracy of the measurement otherwise. Perfect is now zeroed and ready for use. When you use a profoscope it bases the determined cover depth upon a value of a bar diameter you input into the profoscope. This value is set with this icon, the diameter icon, and we're going to set it to 16 because the sample block I'm going to use has a diameter of 16 millimeters for the reinforcing. Other important settings used when initiating the profoscope are the sound, which can be set to make noise when buttons are pressed and when you're centered, and also you can adjust the units. And most importantly, you can choose between the low measurement range and the automatic measurement range, which has deeper penetration, but will flick back to low automatically when necessary. Best to leave it in low unless you know you're going to have quite deep rebar, or if you're not getting anything uh, with the basic setting, then you can switch up to automatic. You can access the backlight using the up arrow during standard operation. That's the backlight here. And you can also change the measurement range between low and automatic with the right arrow during normal operation. The cover meter in use is passed over the surface of the concrete and you'll see a rifle scope move across the screen and when the rifle scope is lined up exactly with the center line of the device you have a properly centered cover meter. So you just wiggle it back a bit and we get that center line. The red light comes on and you can mark exactly on that line in the center. The value shown on the bottom right of the, the device is the current cover reading, so 31 millimeters. On the left of the device is the strength of the signal, up moving closer to steel and down moving away from steel. Um, and if you see the small uh, rifle scope on the base of the device, that indicates exactly over where the device is reading. So you should always have that centered over where you want to scan. The profoscope will show an indication and the red light will come on when it is directly over steel and concrete. In order to determine the direction the steel travels, the best method is to chase the profoscope up and down. If you are directly over the steel, you'll see that the red light stays on, the rifle scope stays centered, and the cover in the right corner stays consistent. Like so. If you are moving at an angle, as you chase up and down, the rifle scope will move side to side and the cover will increase and decrease. Finally, if you are moving perpendicular to the reinforcing, the rifle scope will stay centered, but as you move up and down, the cover will increase and decrease like so.
There is a second situation in which the Pophoscope will demonstrate a centered rifle scope, and that is at the midpoint between two reinforcing bars. As we pass the cover meter over, it will indicate directly over the reinforcing with the red light on. Now, the arrow in the left shows the signal strength dropping, and the rifle scope returns to the center and travels in the same direction the scope is moving. And then it comes back towards us as we move over the second reinforcing. The Profoscope cover meter can estimate the diameter of a rebar located directly underneath. The left button is pressed and the Profoscope will return a representative value, in this case 16 millimeters. <laughs> The Profoscope cover meter offers additional settings for achieving specific tasks more efficiently. The first setting I would like to discuss is that of the low cover depth alarm. In this case I'm going to set it to 20 which is less than the current depth and I need to turn the sound on so we actually get an alarm sound when the cover depth is too low. Now as we pass the reinforcing over you will see the red light does not come on and there is no sound. That is because the cover we're seeing is greater than the low cover depth of about 20. I'm now going to set the low cover depth alarm to a number greater than the 30 millimeters of cover we're seeing. Say around 37, that'll do. And we'll pass it over again. This time we'll hear an alarm and see the red light. like so. I'm now going to demonstrate how to set the neighboring rebar correction. What this allows is that cover meters often have trouble if the reinforcing is very closely spaced, say 80 millimeters apart. By entering the known spacing you have already determined by using the cover meter into this system, you will then get a corrected cover reading which is better than what you would have had otherwise. <laughs> The Profoscope Plus offers two options in terms of data logging. An automatic mode, which logs whenever the Profoscope passes over rebar, and a manual mode, where logs are only taken when the button is pressed. That's the left side button in this case. I've turned on automatic and we can now see a number, 021, and if we turn it on with the left button, the A starts to blink. We're now logging. So in bin number 21, we've now saved number one, number two, and a third point of data. We now turn it off with the left side button, and that information is recorded, and we've now moved on to number 22, which is a different file. If we change to manual, the left side button is now used to take a reading. We're still in number 22, so we line the Profoscope up with the reinforcing, and we press the left side button. This records both a diameter and a cover depth, whereas the automatic mode records only a cover depth. We'll take a few more readings, and then we'll open the software, and I will take you through how to use the software. The unit connects to your PC using a standard micro USB cable, which is connected to the port I showed you earlier.
Data from the Profoscope Plus is reviewed on computer using Pro6 Profilink software. The USB port of the Profoscope is considered to be a virtual serial port. So when you press the green arrow to download data from your Profoscope, it will be presented by this window. The important settings are that it is looking for a serial port and that it will find the device automatically. So it will scan all, com all of the serial ports on the device. So it's found here on COM13, our Profoscope Plus. It will now download the data onto the screen. This is all the data from the Profoscope. The two files we recorded were file number 21 and file number 22. 21 has three readings taken under automatic, and 22 has two readings taken under manual. You'll note immediately that the automatic data has cover value but no bar value, whereas the manual data has a cover value and a bar diameter. The reason for this is because the automatic is logging the lowest depth thread as you pass over but not conducting the separate bar diameter determination. That information simply is not found. You can change a number of settings on your data. You can order the data either by the order in which they're taken or by their magnitude. And you can also add any comment you would care to choose. Data can be exported in a number of formats. If we select by holding control both data number 21 and 22, it can be exported as a comma separated value file for use in Excel. And it can either be one CSV file or two CSV files. And you can also export it as a picture, which will uh, again only show the data selected and can be separate files or individual files. Data can also be printed and saved in the same format as it has been recorded, which will then let you open up this view of the data stored elsewhere. You're also able to delete all the measurements on the device and download all the measurements on the Proboscope. As this software is sold to the American market, it is important to change your data to day, day, month, month, year, year. And you can also change your language as you so choose.